Hey there guys, uh, Big Geordie Geek here, and it's time for issue 21's battle report. So, uh, sorry for the mess in the studio, I'm having a bit of a bit of a tidy up in here, uh, and the wife's left her dressing gown and blanket all over the place. Anyway, let's get on with this. We're going to have uh, Necron Warriors uh, and an Overlord uh, taking on a uh, Primaris Lieutenant and uh, ten, uh, sorry, five intercessors now the interesting thing about this particular mission is we're using normal data sheets for the first time well mostly normal data sheets for the first time which should be quite cool and they are uh, uh they are in the back of the folder uh i've gotten them out and they're quite cool so we're, we're introducing the command phase properly for the first time so this mm, this battle is more of a tutorial for the command phase for using it so it's not well balanced but let's see how it goes now, before we get into the battle report, um, I'd just like to say a quick word from our wonderful sponsor, The Daylight Company. Um, I love their products. I actually own a Lumi task lamp myself, uh, which is an absolutely phenomenal piece of kit. It really does make a huge difference uh, in your painting area. I'm not going to keep you up with some spon with a sponsored message, um, but I will say that if you are if you love your painting, this will really make a world of difference. The only problem is you'll see a lot more faults with your painting work than you would before, but that's a good thing because it helps you improve. Anyway, let's get on with the battle report. So, moving on with the report, we have here our very our, our army units. Uh, the first is the Necron Warriors. We have uh, the uh, ten warriors here, five with Gorse uh, Flayers on the uh, left and five with Gorse Reapers on the right. Then we have our uh, Necron Overlord, uh, armed with a Void Scythe and a Resurrection Orb. On the Space Marine side, we have uh, five Assault Intercessors, the Sergeant armed with the uh, Plasma Pistol, and an, a, a Primaris Lieutenant with Storm Shield, Mastercrafted Power Sword, and Neo Volkite Pistol. And here is how the board is set up. No terrain, just Warriors on the far side with the Lord, uh, Overlord that is, sorry, the uh, Assault Intercessors on the bottom here with the uh, Lieutenant. Now the Necrons go first, and in their first turn, uh, the command phase starts. And this is new, we've got the command phase being introduced to the uh, uh, Imperium games because we're using full-on data sheets now. And uh, what happens is he acts, the Necron Overlord activates My Will Be Done, which adds plus one to the attack rolls of all Necron core units. Core being a keyword that you'll see on the bottom of your data sheet, and uh, the warriors are in fact core units. So once per phase, they add what plus one to the attack rules. So the Necrons move forward, the uh, Overlord uh, moves forward six inches, and the warriors move forward uh, five inches. The Necrons then shoot their Gorse uh, Reapers at the Intercessors, adding plus one to the hit rolls, meaning they now hit on a two plus and make 10 shots, of which eight hit. Of these eight, five cause wounds. Uh, the Intercessors will need a five plus to save as the Gorse Reaper is minus two AP. Uh, four of the shots penetrate the armor or uh, armor ceramite of the Marines, killing two outright, leaving only three Assault Intercessors left. The Gorse Flayers then fire, uh, they get 10 shots, they're within half range, so rapid fire rule kicks in, and uh, they get 10 shots, uh, needing twos of court because of my will be done. Eight of those shots hit, and of those eight, five cause wounds, so uh, just like the uh, previous uh, uh, round of shooting, uh, three of which penetrate the Marine's armor, killing one Marine outright and leaving another on one wound. So now it's the Space Marines' turn. And uh, the Space Marines move forward to, uh, towards the Necrons. The Lieutenant fires his Neo Volkite pistol at the Warriors, kill it, hitting them with both shots. Both of these shots cause wounds, and one Warrior is killed. Uh, the Space Marines then fire their heavy bolt pistols, hitting with both shots. Uh, both shots cause wounds and a single warrior fails to withstand the bolts, uh, killing it. The intercessors, the assault intercessors that is, then charge the warriors, but they fail to make it in the combat. They only roll a five, they needed a six. 
So that's a sucks. <laughs> the Lieutenant then roll, makes it into combat with the Overlord on a roll of 10. Uh, he attacks first with his Mastercrafted Power Sword, uh, uh, managing to uh, swing it four times and hitting the Overlord with every single hit. Three of those hits cause wounds. Now the Overlord needs a roll sixes to avoid taking wounds as the Mastercrafted Power Sword is minus three AP. The Overlord makes one save uh, which manages, but fails the other two. And what that does is uh, the Mastercraft Power Sword has two damage uh, per hit, so it reduces him to one wound. The Overlord then hits with his uh, uh, Void Scythe, uh, attacking the Lieutenant four times, managing to hit him three of those times. The Void Scythe is strength 10. Uh, because it's uh, strength times two, the Overlord is strength ten, five, sorry. So this doubles out the toughness of the Lieutenant, meaning the Overlord needs only twos to wound him. And he gets two wounds, uh, 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 sorry, get, and he gets uh, uh, both of those, uh, um, or, you know, all three of those uh, managed to hit. Uh, the Lieutenant then needs to use his vulnerable save, um, but he only manages to save one of the attacks. He needed four pluses. He only gets one of those. The other two go through, which cause a combined six wounds, killing him completely dead. And uh, it, the game is not going very well for the Space Marines, is it? It's Necron turn two. The Necron Warriors decide, we're going to stay still. The Overlord decides he's going to stay still. He uses my will be done. And then the uh, Necron Warriors fire their Gorse Reapers, landing five out of the six shots, remembering two have been killed. Four of those shots cause wounds, only one of which is saved, but there's only three wounds left in that uh, Ultramarine, uh, sorry, Primaris Intercessor unit. I've got Ultramarines on the mind. I've been painting them recently. And uh, the uh, the Intercessor with one wound dies from one of those, and the Sergeant dies from the other two shots. And that wins the games for the Necrons. Well, that was one-sided. But then again, last week's report was very one-sided. Uh, remembering these particular uh, missions here are very much uh, tutorials. Uh, they're designed to introduce the rules, um, but that's what happens. And, uh, to be honest, if the I think if the lieutenant had managed to uh, uh, sort out that uh, uh, overlord, maybe it might have gone a little bit differently. If the assault intercessors had managed to get into combat, again, may have gone differently, but who knows? Anyway. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm having to get these recorded. Um, I'm going to get a few recorded because we've got Company of Legends this weekend, which is a, uh, a twice yearly Horus Heresy uh, residential weekend that we hold here in County Durham. Um, we get people coming from all over, which is great, uh, but I've got it this weekend. So, I mean, got to chaos, getting all the terrain together and all, all that stuff. So anyway, thanks very much for watching. Um, and uh, if you've liked it, drop us a like dislike if you didn't like it that'd be, that'd be cool too any feedback is good comment like subscribe you know that kind of stuff anyway thanks very much keep rolling the dice